Hello, welcome to the latest breaking news. In this video, you will see important news on use of trending and breaking. Please like this video, subscribe this channel. General Hospital star Kelly Monaco's tragedies from boyfriend's overdose to shock acts. Kelly Monaco has been the topic of conversation these past couple of weeks. The actress is exiting General Hospital. She has been on the show for 21 years and the writers are reportedly going to kill her off this coming fall. Kelly is said to have been blindsided by the decision. Fans have been fighting that decision every day by making hashtags, organizing petitions, and creating a GoFundMe to purchase a billboard to emphasize the demand to keep the fan favorite on the show. Kelly plays former con artist Sam McCall. While Kelly's future is uncertain in the midst of this decision and fan backlash, everyone will just have to see what happens. Let's take a look into the soap star that has been on people's minds lately. Kelly's first introduction in the industry was with Playboy. In 1996, she considered a career in modeling and sent a photo to the publication which led to her being Playmate of the Month for April 1997. She went on to feature in various Playboy special edition magazines. She pivoted to acting with her first TV role in the Bay Watch as Susan from 1997 to 1998. She also was Carmen Electra's body double at times because as Carmen couldn't swim, she also had minor appearances in late 90s films Be Ace e Kit Ball, Idle Hands, and Mumford. Then she entered the world of soaps. Before playing the popular Sam in 2003, Kelly portrayed Livy Locke on the half-hour GH spinoff series called Port Charles. The show had six seasons between 1997 to 2003, and it also dabbled with the supernatural in storylines. For example, Livy was the obsession of immortal bloodsucker Caleb Morley, Michael Easton, because she looked like his dead lover Olivia. Kelly is very private about her personal life, so not much is confirmed or known in regards to her romantic life. Fans have speculated a lot about her previous partners. The only romantic partner that she has publicly talked about is an ex-boyfriend of 18 years, Michael Gonzalez. Michael and her met when Kelly was a junior in high school and dated soon after. The high school sweethearts dated from 1991 until 2009. In 2010, she appeared on the Wendy Williams show where she shared how devastating the end of their relationship was and likened it to giving a child up for adoption. She also mentioned how this is something she thinks about and how one can fall out of love and still be in love with that person. She further talked about the relationship again in 2011 to ABC News Radio's David Blostein, saying, I am not ready at all to open my heart up. The poor guy who steps in his shoes today is so bleep. There is a healing process that I know needs to happen. Unless I meet a rebound, that's what it will be. She was also romantically linked to her late long-time friend and actor Heath Freeman. Heath had roles in TV shows such as NCIS, Bones, and ER. The Pennsylvania native didn't speak about their relationship, but the two were seen at several red carpet events together. Heath shared a heartwarming birthday tribute to Kelly on his Instagram in 2020 writing, Happy birthday to my best friend on planet Earth. So thrilled we're on the planet at the same time. The late 41-year-old died in 2021 due to a drug overdose. Kelly did not publicly comment on his passing, but a former GH cast member, Ingo Rademacher, ex-Jasper Jacks, hosted about the tragedy referring to Kelly. Kelly, my heart goes out to you. I know Heath was very special to you. Know that, my wife. Ihiku and I are always here for you. Rip Heath Freeman. Prayers and love. Lastly, she was also rumored to be dating the late Billy Miller. He was well known for playing Billy Abbott on Young and the Restless. He played Jason Morgan on GH from 2014 to 2019 after the original Jason actor Steve Purton left to go to Young and the Restless. Jason and Sam are one of GH super couples. The chemistry seemed to come off the screen to real life for Kelly and Billy when they are seen interacting publicly. Billy died by suicide in September 2023 at age 43. In a general hospital subreddit thread, questions about an alleged feud between Steve and Kelly were brought up. The user who started the thread recalled they had read a previous thread saying the two didn't get along, so they asked why that might be, and if Billy was involved with that. They also added, Also, 
I remember reading somewhere in the mid-2000s, I think the GH forum on ABC.com that Steve's wife didn't want slash like in working with Kelly. I'm not sure if that's true or not, but I'm just curious if there's actually drama between them or is it just rumors.